Hey guys, welcome back to another spook tutorial on this spectacular day. So to start off, you want your eyes, eyes, brows blocked out. Don't block out your eyes. That's not fun. And put on this beautiful bald cap. This is a homemade one, so if you would like to see how they're made, let me know and I can get on to doing a tutorial for you. Now with just a cheap old clown wig of sorts, I think I got this on eBay for about $10 guys, nothing too expensive, just cut it up and give yourself the, like the grandpa haircut I guess, it's kind of like balding on the top but still quite luscious on the sides. So once you're happy with the size, just go ahead and apply Prosade or any adhesive to your bald cap, making sure to not get any in your hair. Also apply it to the back of the wig. It is material so it is going to be hard to put the Prosade on, but just that little bit extra adhesive is going to make the world a difference. So now that you've got the hair attached to your head, just go ahead and give it a little bit of a trim. This is so much fun guys, it's like giving your hair a haircut without sacrificing your own hair. So Pennywise isn't completely bald on top, so just apply a little bit of Prosade to the top of your head and around the edges of the hair and apply this little bit of tufts of hair around the edge just to kind of hide the edge of the wig and apply this little beautiful little pom-pom of hair on, directly on top. So once you're happy with how the hair looks, it's time to get on to the body face painting aspect of this. I'm just taking a white water activated face paint and just stippling it all over my face, neck and body. Once that is done and you look terrifying already, just go ahead and powder that up with a translucent powder of sorts or white powder if that's what you've got. So now it's just time to get onto his beautiful grungy eye makeup, which is pretty much just black eyeshadow smudged on your eye and kind of brought in a little bit sharper on the inner corner of your eye. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Now it's time to get onto the eyebrows. He has the most overdrawn, crazy eyebrows I've ever seen. Now I'm also adding in some smile lines, I guess you'd call them, just right where your cheeks kind of meet the top of your mouth, just to really give it that devilish look. Now just with a red lipstick of sorts, I'm just going in and lining my lips and then completely over exaggerating the corners and bringing them up in the little squiggly kind of lines he has on his face. I found it easiest to do the anchor points on the eyes first and then go from the lips up to the eyes. Don't be afraid if you make a mistake guys, this is water activated paint, you can wipe it off easy enough and reapply it without having too much trouble. So just take your time, if you make a mistake that's okay guys, but don't forget to give this makeup your own little twist. I do know that this is not an exact replica of the 2017 Pennywise, but I like to think of it as a mix of both of them, as they are both devilishly terrifying in their own creepy little way. Now with black eyeliner I'm just going in and colouring in my bottom lash line just to really darken around my eyes. Don't forget the creepy little nose that he has, which is not as easy to draw on as I once thought. I think it's because I have a huge little fat nose. Now pop in some pre-made teeth and you are ready to rock and roll and scare the life out of everyone. If you can't tell, I enjoyed wearing this makeup a little bit more than I probably should have. Now of course, popping in some creepy yellow contacts would completely finish this look as well as a nice costume, however I did not have them, so just work with what you've got. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did doing it for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, just keep up to date with all of my Halloween tutorials coming out. I'll see you next time, bye!